So he's away. That's what we're talking about from yesterday. The last delivery of the first over. And it's five for no loss. With the spinners on, straight away. It's the first boundary. The last delivery of the first over. And the tactics by the Talawas and Frushford just got a hand. It's gone again. Hero maximum, the first one of the match. And they've taken a couple of overs to get going, but they are now on the move. Yes, the spice man. With some wrist work early and some bottom hand. Down on one knee and says, I've got to have a piece of you, Wazzy. Gets a big piece of it. Into the leg side. Charles uh, dips in and helps himself to a boundary. Now there's 13 off, one to go. The first big over at the power play. 13, one to go, one delivery. And the wicket is the spot. Just keeps his head still. I'd be feeling pretty happy. It's nice when you make a big shot for two. Looking again here for another two. On a boundary. Raced away there. The fielder was slow to pick it up, slow to move to the right. And the frustration now for the Talawas. First two overs, they took their time. They adjusted, looked at the wicket, looked at the spinners. And now they're making the most of the back overs of the power play. Start. Taken away. In unconventional fashion from Fletcher. He was short on room, but he got it around the corner to the boundary. Very effective shot from Andre Fletcher. Hendrick Williams followed him. That's all he did. Use the pace and a flick of the wrist. High on the bat, away on the leg side. Plenty of room out there. He's dealing in boundaries, Andre Fletcher. Another very good shot from him. He's forging a, another good partnership with Johnson Charles. This one high over mid wicket. One bounce into the boundary. Really cashing in, struggle the bit. Continue from the pavilion end. There's a bit of flight and it beats the field. Another boundary from Charles. Wonderful execution. This is what you do to a full toss. Not only does he time it well, finds the gap. Johnson Charles is in the best form of his. Oh, that's clever from Fletcher. Really clever. It's not always about power. This time he waited on the ball and just angled it through where first slip would have stood. In the States, it's a nice action. Oh, that's hammered. Length delivery, that's launched. Gee, what a shot that is. Right out of the middle of that piece of willow. Johnson Charles has brought up 50. With that shot of just 25 balls, but that one is right out of the middle. Dancing for joy, Jamaicans. A lot of Jamaicans live in this part of the world. So appreciating all this and parties and coming along. I don't care who's smashing, as long as it's a West Indian. Just two games ago, contributed in the opening stand yesterday. Likes this bowling. Full toss that time, hammered through extra cover. Now there's always runs in that region if you get past the inner circle and he's banked another boundary. Tim Roy Allen. He's trying to get some uh, movement in the air. That's what he's about. Missed his mark by some considerable margin. He's trying to cross Seymour even there. And that's uh, Help yourself. Bit of a tough call. They would have said, right, oh, let's uh, target him. There's uh, the six. 
98 for none. Now that's a stand and I'll smack that out of the park. What a shot that is. How's that strength for Johnson Charles? He's like one of the fairground attractions. You've got the big hammer and you slam it. And the disc goes flying up and takes off the bow. So strong. Stand and say, look, fetch that, please. I mean, that was effortless. It really was. Oh, he's gone again. Prize of catch it. Got it. Eventually, Chadwick Walter and Ezra taking the catch. There was a plea from Gary Matherin, I think it was. Catch it, catch it as the ball went up in the air. And then he said, please, at the last minute. He bowled it from right back in the pop increase. The stumps at the bowler's end. It's the big side of the ground. So spinners come on here at Lauder Hill. They can set the trap accordingly because it's a big boundary. Good stuff. Wonderful innings of 64 comes to an end from Charles from just 35 balls. Oh, have a look at this from Fletcher. No one's catching that in the field. It's a big hero maximum. And his third so far takes him to 48. Oh, there's 38 deliveries. Don't pitch it up. There's no turn. Forget about it. And Sangakara even looks on and says, well, that's not coming back today. Got Miller, some big hitters. If they even get an opportunity, the way these boys are going. Fletcher, over the rope. Great finish to the over, 15 from it. 133 for one, boys loving it. Final ball, the last over. Oh, he's delivered that from a metre and a half behind the crease. Didn't concern Fletcher though. Went equally as far. I'm sure you want to make the wicket longer. The Dukes. Hussey squirts it away over the offside. Gone! Chadwick Walton takes the catch. Mike Hussey has to go. Just the second breakthrough for the Talawas. Some joy at the moment in the afternoon. Huss. Got some width, and then just picked out the man at deep point. An easy catch for Walton, he's got safe hands. Today, it's not missed the cricket's day, but he'll be back next week in the finals to play a big part. He goes for eight, and it's one, three, three for two. That stadium, lovely stadium. Full toss, quite away, Watson. Gee, I tell you what, it's out of the screws and that's gone for seven. We had a, an opportunity there for a, a Guardian Group catch for cash. One-handed catch gets you a thousand bucks. He had to get low to scoop it in the air. Shane Watson, powerful man. Once he middles it, it will go the distance. Oh, that spectator running around, couldn't keep it within his hand. One. Fultas hit that uh, nicely, but not nicely enough. Walter Adez has taken another catch. Gee, he's been in the game down there. He's full of smiles. Good stuff. Catch on the boundary. His judgment was spot on. It's something that we've not seen consistently from fielders this leg of the tournament. Chadwick Walton makes no mistake. Runs around, settles. Judges it nicely. Very good catch. It's the big wicket of Andre Fletcher. Well played 70 off just 54 deliveries. It's 152 for three. Three, Nicholas Brown on the top. Short delivery, that's hammered. Goodness me, that's uh, a beauty. What a shot that is. Not easy to be in control with a shot like this. Shane Watson has been batting very well. For the St. Lucia Zooks. Doesn't really have much time on this surface. He's just come to the crease. He's striking it off the middle of the bat. Second hero maximum. In front of square. Yes, he's got a strike. That's 
Sammy's very first delivery and he's just hammered that like a tracer bullet for four through extra cover. Well, we spoke about power hitting. This man uses the long handle. He's a tall figure. It's a high back lift. How about this for a swing? All the way through, look at the follow through, look at the bottom hand. All power. And the big man, Sammy. It's a little bit like what we were talking about uh, before the start of play, like the clean, high swing, almost like a golf swing. Beautiful. Slow delivery, spotted by Watson, and he's hammered that. Wow, that's just terrific timing. Really good stuff from Watson. Perfectly in tune with that delivery. If you want to learn how to get your body weight and your momentum into a stroke, look at this. Commits forward, gets the weight going in the direction that he wants to hit the ball. Nice, easy swing off the bat. Lovely shot. Your maximum for Watson. Three so far. Out. Got him. Simple catch at the end. Was it above waist height? Delivery. First part of the question answered. Let's look at the height. If he was standing upright, would it have been, it's off the, the glove area as well, that's why it popped up to the short fine leg. If he was standing upright, would it have been above the waist? And that's going to be the tricky thing to tell. with us another life for Shane Watson a bit of a smile from him as well well if you're a Talawan supporter you'll be disappointed Talawan's uh, players they see the funny side of things much more about fast bowling just clap that it's into the breeze though, but that doesn't matter. It's still a home run. Great stuff from Watson. The power of the man. Wonderful all-rounder for St. Lucia Zooks. He's a solid performer and showing it yet again with the bat this time. Hero maximum, number four. And look at him, a little bit of byplay. Kendrick Williams, have a look at this shot. Oh, and he's hit that nicely as well. Has it hit far enough? Yes, it has. She is as really good hitting from Shane Watson. Now he's off. Now he's remembered. Jogging off the ground. That is sensational stuff. 42 off just 17 balls. He has lit up this place, Shane Watson. Not for the first time. Yesterday he did the same. Brilliant stuff then. 43 off 20, and he's done better today. Look at this shot. Power hitting at its best. Slower delivery, didn't quite look like he put a lot of power into this stroke, but it had the distance Flew over the square leg boundary line. As easy as that, Shane Watson. What a wonderful innings from him. He's really added the icing on the cake, so to speak, for St. Lucia Zooks. Gale into the action, is it enough? Missed the cricket out of deep square leg, can't get there. Boundary to finish the first over. It's five for no loss. Shaping up to be a real contest. Spoke about the fans coming and flocking to see their favourite players. This man's centre of screen is one of the best you will see in T20 cricket. It's like the LeBron James of basketball. Christopher Henry Gain. What a great way to finish the first over and Gail getting into the action. Missed the cricket out there, tried hard enough but couldn't quite get there. I like going short to Gail Lilly, that has been the theory been around, there's been a lot of theories around about where to bowl to Gail. Scored a fair bit of runs. Using that short technique. and put away. There's no one back at third man or point. And that is a classic cracking shot. Very stable. 
look at this. Flat up, just makes contact. Not much movement at all. He's solid in his base and in control. This boundary for him. Oh, again, got to learn from the first time, the first lesson. This time it's gone one better, two better, hero maximum. Cutting it away, this is Caribbean cricket. The German Taylor would know, can't afford to bowl fast deliveries, short and wide, and there's no protection on the offside. All the fielders there, are within the 30-yard circle, an opportunity for a guardian group. Catch for with the ball. That's true. You won't have to run for that. This is what we're saying. Watch out. He's been hurt. He hasn't scored for a while. He's missed out in games. And now he's saying on the last day in the last game, could this be his moment? It's all the time in the world, Chris Gale, to play his shots. Waited on it. High back lift. Look at that. Just punches it through the offside. Oh, is it big enough? Please stop. He keeps going. Hero maximum again. 12 runs. Too short. From Delon Johnson. This is easy pickings for Chris Gale. It's very strong square of the wicket. Definitely need to pitch the ball up further. Create that doubt. When you bowl a delivery like this. Chris Gale will capitalize. Is this going to be big enough? It's over. Keep going, the universe boss. They're loving it here. Cricket in Florida. Well, Damien, you spoke about this man being out of form. Even with a fielder at long on, he will still attempt a hero maximum. That's confidence, that's power. Wonderful execution from the big man. Straight away, Gale over the infield. Another one out to the rope. You welcome very fresh looking Danny Morris into the box. Danny. Oh, my oath, Mark Howard. It's great to see the crowd on their feet getting amongst this with one of the greats of the modern game. Chris Gale. They're up with a run rate. Stand and deliver we've seen for so many years now. Makes it look easy. Pumps it over cover for four more. Oh, down the ground. Man comes round. D. Sammy takes the catch. Gale, you're kidding me. Sammy, you beauty. Watson breaks through. And the universe boss is done. High fives all round. Just went dark and stormy. Looked like he was going to cut loose even more. Striking at 200 and plenty. And now, when he holds the pose and thinks, have I got enough of it? Oopsie, I haven't. Sick as, but not as opposite. El Dorado celebration, lubricated massive. Furious, the fans, they wanted to see more of Gale. He's gone for 30, first one down at 40. Crikey, I think we better get back to the cricket through the gap from Sanga. He moves in a beautiful way and to the rope for his first boundary. Brings up the 52 for the JTs. And this feel good for Sangers. Doesn't matter, he's uh, finished his international days. Key for the Taliwas that he gets runs here, much like Fletcher and Charles and Watson did. And Ramden and McCullum got a score each two in the previous game. It's a shocker. This isn't a shocker though. Where's this going? No, oh, the killer's got it. Miller time here. Schillingford into the action. 
and he picks up a wicket in his first over and it's the dangerous Chadwick Walt. The what a running catch here from Miller. A yeah, high ball, got a lot of bat on it. Too much height, not enough distance. Miller covered a great deal of ground. See, it was high on the bat. Chadwick was like, oh no, look at Miller. He's got about 15, 16, 17 steps in into the gloves. Well done by Miller. Great catch. Oh yeah, baby. Take a bite of that puppy. 51 for two. wasn't quite so keen on it. Sangakara sweeps it away and finds the gap. I like Sang as his helmet better. In the groove already and he's just got in. A couple of boundaries now. What a surprise. Subcontinent star who likes to sweep the spinners. Up a bit more. Yeah! Drive, catch it for Sangakara. Yeah! What a great catch, Miller. He does not put him down. And the Pope man is into the action. First delivery. And the big wicket of Sangakara. It's a problem they had yesterday. Sangakara and Gael disappear quite smartly. But this is outstanding from David Miller. We've always seen him, uh, already seen him take a spectacular catch. But look at this. This is brilliant. It really is brilliant. Nicely done, David Miller. David Miller. Inches from the ground, that's all it was. And Sengakara trudges off. 24 he's got. 75 for three. Bounds off this over so far and is uh, bowling to, to Andre Russell, who's always really dangerous with the bat. It's a bit wide. Chase that one. No one down there. That was a freebie. Another boundary. This is what happens when you've got players like this. You can score freely, score boundaries quickly. Bowlers start to worry. Back-to-back -back boundaries. One over cover, which was too wide. And once again, that was too wide off Elliott. And this time it goes through third man, one-handed. Wow, that's uh, gone a long way. Up in the air. And all the way, six runs. Noise off the bat there was sensational. 19 runs for that over from Elliott. 95 for three. Hero Maximins. That's what it's all about in the CPL here in Florida. Pow, this was big. High. Out towards the scoreboard. No full toss again. Straight down the ground. That's gone for four. Miller tries to scoot around, can't get there in time. It's just the power of Dre Russ. It's the commentary curse. One minute I'm saying he's going well, and it's the full toss. And we know how good Miller is, a fielder. Down a deep mid on, but he couldn't get there. A Spartan big bat comes through. That's hurt. It's the uh, perfect length, of, and it's also beaten the keeper. So that's gone for four, that's an expensive over. 12 runs from that in the end, the skipper's worried now, I don't think he can bowl Elliott again in the next over. Russell, long ball, hasn't got it out of the middle, out! Grant takes the catch, Dre Russ is done. It's difficult to sustain with that type of power we've seen from Andre Russell. This man, yet again, Delon Johnson is in the wickets. Number two for him. Very important wicket. Seen a little bit of counter attacking from Andre Russell, but very short lived. Eldorado celebrations from the big man, Johnson. Russell goes for 21 of just 13 deliveries. It's 110 for four. Good hit, 
Strong hit, big hit. Here on Maximum. Is gone? 120 for four. Tim Roy Allen. Oh boy, Tim Roy. Just over the top of the man on the rope, Grant Elliott. It's a handy maximum. Wonderful striking from Allen. He's only faced five deliveries. He's playing like he's been there for a long time. Adjusted to the pace, the bounce. And with execution like this, looks like he's well set. His first hero maximum. Bold him. Great Whoa. answer. Shane loves it. Rodman Powell is done. Well bold. Shane Shillingford under pressure, as you said, Darren Ganga. Got one to bite and turn. Well, you felt that something was going to give. It's been going the Talawa's way. Some clean strikes. A lot of risk taking from their batsmen. But it was Shillingford. Conventional off break. Spinning back. Going through the gate. Paul goes for a brilliant 28. It's 142 for five. Hammered. Oh, is it out? Watson. Very good stuff from Shane Watson. Big smile from him. Not too many celebrations. He's seen it many times before. Oh, just a stroll in the park for Shane Watson. Taylor with that angle, creating more there. And Allen says, I've got to have a piece of this. Comfortable, classy. The Aussie all-rounder. Better get some high fives in and some smiles. Sammy and co racked with this. Tim Roy Allen goes for 19. Six one down now for 146. Down the ground. Straight. Split the gap. Good stuff. They needed that badly. Aussie to the rescue. Feared the bear. Alex Ross. He's gone straight as downtown. Sweet. Continuing right arm round, Jerome Taylor dispatched sweetly. So he's gone for seven now. Can he just go for dark quick bowl? He said that pretty well. Has it gone all the way? Yep, that's gone. That's a nice shot to finish the over. However, it's only eight from it. Five balls initially were brilliant. 165 for six. Enjoyed coming back to the or coming to the States to play cricket, coming back to this venue. Of course, it's been played at before. There's a look at uh, the last ball that travelled 80 metres. That's a good shot. Hearing the Zooks home again. It's uh, fine. That's running away, and it's gone for four first up. Now that's the last ball. It's gone for six over Darren Sammy's head, and Darren Sammy is delighted. Look at that, it's another victory for the Zooks. Brilliant stuff, winning five out of their last six, and they are on a roll, there's no doubt about that. They are now.